Welcome to our first 2020. Uh, my name is Bridget Gall. I'm going to be your moderator for this evening. Because the, the event centers around art, design, and architecture, I want you just to sort of throw yourself back for a minute. Imagine it's 1970. And you are absolutely loving the way the sunlight is coming in through the bay window and it's catching the light on the teal swag lamps in the corner, throwing the light around onto the, right onto the plants. And you decide, oh, I think it's time to get some Velveeta cheese for my crackers before the wonderful world of Disney starts at six. And you walk through the kitchen and there on the wall is the macrame owl that your mom made last week with the beady eyes that's kind of creeping you out. And on the other wall is a giant fork and spoon, which really actually irritates you as a teenager because that's just another thing for you to do on the chore list for Saturday, dust the fork and spoon. And down in the basement you can hear the younger siblings in the rumpus room rumpusing. Would that be correct to say that you would be rumpusing? And you can hear that sort of soft whir of the, the stone, remember the, the, the tumbler, the rock tumbler, tumbling around the rocks? And you know that in about three months' time, you are going to have something so awesome to take to school. <laughs> Everybody in grade seven is going to be so jealous. And now it's 1980, and you're sitting on your very, very, very overstuffed Naga hide couch that has been delivered to your door by Leon's, thank you, and you're enjoying the fact that you've just decorated your living room in beautiful shades of dusty rose. Yeah. And you're not entirely sure if that extra wide wallpaper border of dark forest green is actually making the living room look bigger, <laughs> like it was supposed to do. But you're OK with that, because it brings out the shade of your veins, and that's all right. <laughs> And the little crumbs, crumbs that have fallen around you, the chocolate crumbs from your mint wagon wheel, not a problem, not a problem. Because, hey, it's Naga Hyde. <laughs> you just wipe that off. <laughs> and yes, it is the final episode of Dallas, and you are going to find out who shot JR. <laughs> and in the middle of that episode, the anxiety suddenly comes down a little bit because you see there's Miss Ellie. And she is standing in that very large South Fork kitchen at a something in the middle. And you don't know what that is, because maybe that's the first time you've ever seen it, because it was the first time I saw it. But I knew I wanted one of those middle things in my kitchen. <laughs> and then we're in the 90s. And you're drunk again. And you've come home after a night out. And you've decided that Sandy Pearl is not going to up you with her shiny a crew mushroom beige living room set with mirrors. No, sir. Because you are going to rag roll the bathroom. <laughs> Except you're drunk. And halfway through the process, you realize you don't have the dark paint that's supposed to go over top the light paint. So you go into the kitchen and you find some jello flavored crystals <laughs> and pour them in the palm of your hand and then just blow them on the wet paint. <laughs> and it looks awesome <laughs> because the color crystals are like <laughs> exploding all over the wet paint. And in the morning when you're sitting in the bathroom <laughs> and you're looking at that and thinking, oh my Christ, what have I done? <laughs> because the dog is licking off all of the jello and there's hair from the knee down and you think it's okay, it's okay, I'm just gonna go to the living room and all the Sven's and Billy's and Ektorps are swirling around in the living room. And you got enough Swedes in there to have your own Swedish hockey team. And you think it's okay, it's design choices, bad design choices I've made, I can live with that. And now here we are, 2015. And we're moving on to an entirely new sort of frontier, right? We're moving on to some of the basic tenets from way, way back. We're talking like Hadrian's Wall back of good design and good architecture. Those really the bare bones that, that make something so unique and so, so uh, formidable. Can you, you can't, it's sort of like I'm schizophrenic. I'm just gonna have to like, <laughs> hi, I see you, now I don't. I see people, I don't. Sorry about the poll there, we'll, we'll try and manage that. So what is 2020? 2020 came from uh, an, a movement in Japan, 2003, Pichakuchu. It's now in 800 cities. So 
It's like a TED Talk, except that you will have, in our case tonight, we'll have seven presenters, various architects, designers. They will have 20 seconds per 20 slides to bring their information to you. It was an opportunity, well, the reason why it started was it was to give designers, architects an opportunity to present what they were doing to the public. So it's the, it's the art of concise presentations.